The Rising Stars Novices Chase is next. This is a two mile five furlong grade two. And we've got Domes of Panga at the top for Darren Thompson. Always flying, David Hooley. Craskend Avenue, Darren Thompson. Manor Lord, Leon Van Rensburg. Publisher, Rustlin, David Robertson. Sierra Vista Fair, Vinnie Gerard. Gong Tiara, Graham Clutterbuck. Iris Quote and Nadia Molly for Derek Hinton. Seagold, David Hooley. The Miss and the Witch Queen for Joshua Sutherland. And Tight for Craig Beckwith. Away they go. And the first fence is the water, which is something that's not allowed in real racing, as I keep telling people. Nobody listens to me. And Sierra Vista Fair is the early leader. And Domes of Panga in second, and then the miss on the outside is third. I'll get over that one. Safe as you can tell, we've changed track. Seems a long, long time ago since we had enough commentators where we could have a do a different course each. As a fall of it, Cracksford Avenue has gone, or Craskend Avenue has gone. So Craskend Avenue departs then, so that's two races on the trot then. I think where Darren Thompson's horse has fallen. And he's still having the same issues as he's been having for a couple of seasons. And his jumper's not jumping all that well. Well, they do jump well, though. They tend to do okay. And he's still got domes of panga in this. As they get to the fifth, which they're all safely over. And Iris Quote is in the lead from the Miss in second. In comes Sierra Vista Fair in third. Gold Tiara back in fourth. The Witch Queen and Tight. In comes Domes of Panga. Man of Lord on the outside. Well, it's Iris Quote who's gone off into a clear lead. It's over the sixth. Mistake at the back there by the grey publisher rustling, seeing that one relegated really to last place. And it's Iris Quote who's in front, leading by five or six lengths to the missing second. Domes of Panga on its outside is just about third, with Sierra Vista Fair on the road and out jumped them there to go into second. And the Witch Queens after that, Gold Tiara. The first of the two greys, the great publisher rustling the back marker as they take number eight. Which they all got over, or one or two of them were a little bit slow over it. And Iris Quote leads over this next one. And there's a four at the back there, it's gone, Tiara's gone. So it's the first of the greys, I think that was that departed there. And Graham Clutterbox. He's only runner in this race. And it's Iris Quote who's in front from Domes of Panga second. The miss is third. Oh, and the leader nearly went there. That time hit that one hard and did well to survive. I'm not sure that big hole is in the middle of the course. I don't know whether the course is collapsing as they get over the water again. Oh, look at it in the middle. There's a big, big hole. Anyway, Iris Quote's in front from the, mo the miss in second. And then tight now back in third as they get over the 12th. The Witch Queen and the Miss are now creeping ominously towards the lead. As they get over that ditch. And always flying and Naraya Molly, Nadia Molly are the back two. There's only about 10 to 12 lengths between the whole lot of them at this point. And the Miss Sierra Vista Fair and Iris quote over that one from the Witch Queen. Then Manor Lord getting closer, tight. Just being pushed along, always flying his next as they head down towards the 15th of the 19th. This is the final ditch, I do believe, and they're all safely over it. And Sierra Vista Fair has gone on now from the Joshua Sutherland pair. The long time leader, Iris Quotes, dropped back into fourth, always flying a Manor Lord chasing them as they begin to swing towards home. I've got three more to get over, I think. Three or four. 
and it's just Sierra Vista Fair on the inside. This is the fourth last. Over it they go. And the Witch Queen jumped into the lead. The Witch Queen then has now gone on. But now on the inside, Sierra Vista Fair is trying to fight back. There's then a line of about seven of them coming through to challenge for third. But the Witch Queen's in front with three to jump. The Witch Queen from Sierra Vista Fair on the inside battling back over to third last. They go. The Witch Queen jumped in better. Sierra Vista Fair hit it and has now dropped back into second. See, a gold has come through from nowhere into third. Not even mentioned that one before. Domes of Panga is getting into it now. Over the second last they go. And it's the Witch Queen from Sierra Vista Fair and Seagold. Tight is trying to run on the outside. They're racing down towards the final fence. And the Witch Queen from Sierra Vista Fair. They land virtually together. It's the Witch Queen on the inside. Sierra Vista Fair now is trying to get up on the outside. And Sierra Vista Fair pokes its head in front. And here comes Seagold trying to challenge. But it's got to be Sierra Vista Fair who's going to take another one for Vinnie Gerard. Sierra Vista Fair wins it. Seagold was second. And the field will trail back to Nadia Molly, who I think was the final one to finish. Derek Hinton might have ended up with the back pair, but it's a steward's inquiry. Sierra Vista Fair, though, keeps the race. Sierra Vista Fair for Vinnie Gerard, the winner. The Witch Queen for Joshua Sutherland was second. Sea Gold for David Hooley was third, and also took fourth with Always Flying. And Domes of Panga for Darren Thompson was fifth.